Hello students, welcome to our today lecture. Today we are covering multiprocessing operating system. So basically what is multiprocessing operating system? It is the operating system where we have two or more CPU that control the function of computer system. So dear students, in these CPUs we can maintain a copy of operating system that can help to communicate with each other for performing specific operation. So dear students, in multiprocessing operating system we are taking the help of a term that is parallel processing what is parallel processing so dear students basically it is the division of tasks among several processor so that they can perform their work simultaneously so we can say that whenever we are dividing our task into sub tasks to perform their processing so quickly at that time we are taking the help of parallel processing so dear students here we have the basic difference between multiprocessing versus single processor operating system dear students in case of multiprocessing system we have parallel processing why because we are type we are dividing our task into sub task and then these sub tasks are assigned to different cpu so whenever we are using the concept of parallel processing we are required a special mechanism okay so that our processors can interact with each other while they are scheduled to perform a specific task so dear student this is the little bit description about multi processing operating system then we have another topic that is single user and multi user operating system so dear students as the name indicate in case of single user operating system we have we have only one user who can use the computer system at a time single user and single system but dear students in case of multi user operating system we have multiple user who can access a system at one time just like that here we have multiple user that can use a system at a time then dear students we have few basic difference between single user and multi user operating system in case of single user operating system we have only one user who can use the system at a time in multi user we have multiple user who can access the system at a time in case of single user dear students we have the concept of super user who can get all the power of maintaining the system but in case of multi user system we have no concept of super user dear students in case of single user operating system our working is so simple as single user operating system is simple as compared to multi user operating system because it has multiple user so its working is so complex then dear students in in the form of performance the single user operating system can perform one time okay one task at a one time but in case of multi user operating system different tasks are performed okay at a time then for example in case of single user operating system we have window apple mac operating system but in case of multi user operating system we have unix linux and mainframe so dear students today we are covering two topics number one is regarding multi processing operating system and number two is regarding sing single or multi user operating system okay so thank you for our today lecture